In 20 days, the fastest men in the world take center stage in the 100 meters at the show of shows, the Olympic Games. While everyone else will be looking to taste glory in this event, Marcel Jacobs will be looking to defend a crown he already owned. Marcel Jacobs at the previous Olympic Games pulled off the race of his career, hitting his peak speeds at the right time with a 9.80 seconds to win in Tokyo. After two seasons of injuries and the rise of new stars, he is seemingly out of the picture to defend his title. In fact, DraftKings has him as a plus 2,500 underdog, FanDuel's at plus 2,300, and Bet365 at plus 2,200. So just like in his triumphant journey three years ago, he has to attack the 100 meters like an underdog, which is certainly why he has taken upon himself to take on quite an unusual strategy with just two weeks to go. Earlier today in Rieti, Italy, Jacobs lined up in a 100-meter race, not the strongest of fields, and he won in just a time of 10.17 seconds quite comfortably. However, the great strategy is that he will return tomorrow for two additional rounds. Quite an unfamiliar format for one-off meets, but it is the format for global championships. So with two weeks out, the reigning champion is choosing to go through a simulation of what he is to face, something never before seen by a top contender or a defending champion. While the time wasn't anything flashy, the thing that should be noted is that one of his strengths in his 2021 campaign was the way he took on the rounds. He started with 9.94 in the heats, lost the semi-final in 9.84, before winning the final in 9.80 seconds. Having only run the maximum of two rounds each year since then, this move was extremely smart, and it could make a difference. That is, if he somehow finds the form he had three years ago. Regardless, choosing this strategy is an interesting one. And whether or not he wins, this is a good move for the defending champion.